Respected Emirati businessman Khalaf Ahmad Al Habtor launched his autobiography on Tuesday night, which details his struggles and accomplishments. Those who have already read parts of it say it provides a different perspective on the success story of Al Habtor and motivates the younger generation to do the same. Khadija Saleh has this report. It was not a surprise to see the massive turnout of support during the launch of his autobiography on Tuesday night. Many high-profile figures graced the event. His Highness Sheikh Nahyan Mubarak Al Nahyan, Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research, and former U.S. Congressman Paul Findlay were among those present. I believe his book will inspire many young people who want to get on in life, inspire them to focus, work hard, get things done, because he lived his life that way. He was a poor man who rose to greatness. And he did it through hard work, through dedication to good causes. Khalaf Ahmed Al Habtur is one of the many renowned figures in his generation. The chairman of Al Habtur Group needs no introduction with his global success in business and dedication to philanthropic endeavors. He said the book is a tell all. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for your presence and for your attendance today, this evening. And especially to my friends who came from the United States of America, from the United Kingdom, from France, from Finland, Serbia, Germany and other European countries who participating and attending the celebration of launching of my book. The book took him two years to write, each page bearing traces of some of his famous traits, such as determination, wit, audacity, unapologetic frankness, and refreshing sincerity, contained in stories of his failures, life lessons, and triumphs. All these make the book an even more interesting read, especially for those who barely knew him. I have uh, read a few parts of uh, the book, which I, be I believe that I'm going to uh, get the copy of it in my library, definitely, uh, to have, of course, all the lessons to read, all the chapters to read one by one, and all his achievements are absolutely fantastic. When I learned about Kala from Paul, it that I had tremendous admiration for his efforts and how he succeeded from being poor to the richest man in the world. And uh, it, he will be an exemplary example for the young generation to come to succeed and do hard work to succeed. You know, I really am appreciated that he, I had a chance to be here. I only know of a few stories so far. I can't wait to sit down and really go uh, through the book from cover to cover. Uh, but the story, of course, about uh, the Lux and Love Soap, it's just hilarious. And um, for him to be so honest about um, his failures is very, very important because it's really inspiring to young people to say that it's okay, you can fail, and then you can succeed. And not only succeed, do big things like Mr. al Habtur, so inspiring. I can't, really can't wait to read the book. Kalaf al Habtur's autobiography is now out in bookstores across the region. The story of a man who rose from rags to riches. While 540 pages detail his past and present, he continues to write his story while inspiring many others to dream big and live with a purpose. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.